Hi, this is Mark Fulweiler again. This is my ninth video now in this series of uh, leukemia testimony. And this one is on another procedure that uh, I think most all of us who are being treated for leukemia will have early on. And this is a spinal biopsy where uh, they don't go into your hip for bone marrow, but they insert a needle into your spinal cord, the lower end of your spinal cord to see if uh, leukemia has spread into your nervous system. And again, I would say that this is a procedure that is kind of blown out of proportion as far as uh, the pain uh, factor goes. And uh, I won't lie to anyone, I would say that out of all the procedures, uh, when they inserted the needle to give me a, a local painkiller in the linocaine, I would say that this did a little bit more than pinch. Um, I don't, you know, call pain pain except for when I really mean it. And I would say this one hurt a little bit. Um, but then uh, again, after, you know, three or four seconds of that needle going in, um, I was really pretty numb and I, I could feel them, you know, uh, putting the needle in, but not a, a whole lot unsimilar to going to the dentist and being numb yet feeling the dentist working around on a tooth. And the procedure once again just took, you know, three or four minutes and um, then they, you know, pull out the needle, they, you know, put a bandage on you and it's, you know, uh, way down low on your spinal cord. And um, for this one, I did have some pain after the fact, actually for a couple of days, two or three days, I, I took a little bit of painkiller because uh, it was sore. But oddly enough, um, where most of my discomfort was, was in the back of my head, my neck, in my shoulders and uh, thanks to my sister who had been unfortunately in the hospital for you know one issue or another and has had back pain for you know quite a while she highly recommended ice packs so uh, when the pain medication wasn't really curbing the pain like I had you know hoped uh, I asked the nurses if they could bring in a bag of ice and um, so they did there was a nice nice kind of cloth bag and you know I'd put it behind my head or on my shoulders and that helped more than the morphine believe it or not it felt so good and the relief was almost immediate and it wasn't a drug and you know when the ice would begin to melt they would you know give me a new bag of ice and it helped a lot um, and again for me I just had one uh, spinal biopsy uh, conducted the whole time and my physician has said that I, I won't need another. So I think for most of us, we only have it done once unless they uh, come up with leukemic cells in the uh, spinal fluid. Uh, but in the absence of that being detected, it looks like it's just a one-time procedure, but don't take my word, you know, trust your physician on this one. Uh, but remember the ice. Uh, that helped a lot, and you could move it around uh, according to where the pain was at, and um, it had almost immediate effect, and again, for me, this lasted for two or three days, and then nothing. So um, if you are, again, in the hospital and you hear that you're going to need uh, some spinal fluid uh, drawn and tested, once again, don't fret it, don't sweat it. I think the whole procedure is overblown. Um, there's a, a twinge of pain, um, but I wouldn't say it's anything to write home about. And uh, in the aftercare, remember the ice, and you will be surprised at how effective that is. If indeed you are anything like me and you get the you know headache in, in the back of your head or tightness in the shoulders, that, that kind of thing. Um, helps wonderfully um, and uh, it'll keep you comfortable and uh, once again wish you well God bless take care bye bye